They were glass bottles. To pee in them. So there's no package for that. Mm -mm. That makes no sense. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I might have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I gave it to him. She's like, oh. Goofy girl, the moon. It's very difficult. Bending these loops, not bending them. I, we are not your person. You did it. I come out looking like a champ today. <laughs> said do not bend. Or crush. Is that right? I lost my bag on the way to the airport. Didn't even make it to, to luggage claim. Shuttle driver took me from like this hotel where I parked at to the airport and three minutes in, both my bags flew out the trunk and one of them is gone forever. It's fucking gone. Uh, and the, the driver's like, oh man, you know, it almost seemed like a coordinated attempt to, well, successfully, you know, acquire my bag. I don't know what they thought I had in there, but did have two pairs of new boots in there. So that sucks. And thank God it wasn't the other one because I had like consolidated my laptop and shit in one of the other suitcases. Uh, but yeah, other one's gone. Gone. So I arrived at the gate, almost missed my flight with like zero clothes for the week. I was going back to Dallas to visit fam for Christmas and stuff. I also had three Pavlock shot clocks in my suitcase, which wake me up every day. But luckily I had one more in my storage unit. Go. Uh, we're going to pick up sushi. Three trips. It's a small. Look at this. Is this anybody's? Miracle, you're it. Can I have this? This is adorable. Oh, that's Sarah's. <laughs> Nobody's here to eat it. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody but these guys. I think we need to have like a secret club. So I guess it's gonna sit here until uh, people get here? Yeah. Yeah. We, just, we just have a secret club. We're like the balloon society. And just, we're the ones who get to have all the sushi. That's my theory. Yeah. Bucko somehow got locked in my studio. And I don't know how, but he was in here for like three hours. Um, and if you look right there, you can see his, I guess, trying to get out. Uh, I feel really bad for him. Um, he, uh, you know, ripped up some of the soundproof, bumped into the fizzy lifting ceiling, which now has to be sterilized. You know, you get no chocolate. Um, 
But yeah, dude, that sucks. He threw up in here. Thank you, Brett and Ben, for cleaning that up for me. But it smells fine. My dad's company makes these laser, well, they don't make them, it's not the purpose of the company, but they have stuff like this. Found it at my house, I'm gonna see if I can mess with Bucko. Cool. I'll you go. like it? Yeah, thanks, I do. Very flattering, too flattering. So you guys can have any of this. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory. So, so that's like super that. good if you have like greasy foods in your diets or like if you're maybe lightly lactose intolerant, but you just do it anyway because you like it. Yeah. I'm that person. Uh, cordyceps are a natural mushroom. We actually went hunting for them in upstate New York. It was amazing. Oh cool. yeah, that was, I got jelly about that. I wanted to do that. Oh yeah, that come next time. We're gonna do it again. Yeah, yeah we're gonna I'll look for ginseng. That sounds fun, yeah. That's this really is amazing cool. for your brain. And it's really good energy support. So like a lot of times we do caffeine and stuff, which is just like fries our adrenaline yeah. or adrenals. Uh -huh. And this actually gives it what it needs. Okay, are, cool. are you supposed to do it with food or without food or? I normally take it in the morning. Um, you can do it with food if you're like more sensitive. Yeah. Then I'd suggest eating with it, but it's not gonna make you like nauseous or anything like that. Okay. And lion's mane is a memory and nerve support, so it's really good. I heard it was like anti-cancerous. Anti mm -hmm. Yeah, which is really good on that. And then uh, we got reishi, which is like longevity, which okay. is just great. I've heard good too. things. Yeah. And then I've also brought, if you guys eat food or something, that it's like little um, yeah. so enzymes. Oh, okay. Sugar for your belly, but sweet. Yeah, this is the... Every the, the huge thing for you guys would be to use that sauna cold plunge that you have yeah. upstairs. If you use that like five days a week, that'd be oh. massive. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I said, male issues. Yeah. You have to baby bird it. So you're gonna do three of these. Oh, look at that. Okay. Right, that could so be big bird. Right. Right. <laughs> no, you're gonna make memes about this stuff. <laughs> Sorry for this kerfuffle this evening. What are we gonna talk about? Two? I know we wanted to talk to you about cultural <laughs> stuff. Open wide for and the ginseng. One of the things we love to talk about is like men. You have to get on my chin. I'm sorry, I got on everybody's chin. <laughs> Not bad, right? Stop it, you dirty, perverted people. <laughs> bad. That was great, thank you. No, I like that. That feels good. So we're going to do three of these. Okay. And then from there, if you're sort of maybe a great speaker, mm -hmm. men are mostly going to watch you anyway. Right. But if you in any way, Two. Use, like the word men or, or, or the word Sound men. like lace with acid or anything. You know. For me, and I could be wrong about this, I'm just saying how I perceive it. Three. There you go. Just thank you. No sweat, didn't even stress. This is supposed to be like bad, bad taste. Well, for, I don't drink. So this has alcohol that pulls out the properties. So that's why I boil like it because you don't get the alcohol. But like for those who are more familiar with like shots and stuff, it's very similar. It's not that bad. For me though, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. lightly, lightly, lightly. So the way that I am an alcoholic, so I wouldn't have taken that if any of that, but that's all right. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. No, it's a very, very small amount. Like it just pulls it. Yeah. I'll be fine. Yeah. Think about how awesome it would be if you stayed home and raised your kids so there's a full-time oh, parent in the house. And, and so, it's, so the whole idea of freedom of choice got metastasized into, you know, if you don't take the man's role, you're not, you're not empowered, right? And, that, and so it was meant to be a choice. It was meant to expand options. But if, but if you even said that, like how do you help to build your man up so that he makes 50 times more money so you can go on vacation? kind of cool I think but that's great is bad yeah and I don't understand that because that benefits both of you like Correct. if you want a woman's life to be better then mm. and if she's in a married relationship but I don't they don't like mm. marriage they don't like families they don't mm -hmm. want women to be in yeah. kind of teamwork with men yeah so, sad. so there's no. something called a straw man argument where you deconstruct the worst version yep. of an argument right Take their weakest argument yeah but what I like to do is what's called I think they call it a steel, steel man, man argument yeah. right so if I was to just create in my own mind a steel man argument for the case of why the culture could be pushed in that direction. I could say, to be honest, a lot of my male friends are idiots. <laughs> Just being honest. Um, you know, um, a lot of men have let women down in relationships. And um, if you, the movie that that struck me for the need for the more modern feminism that I thought showed a good example was Revolutionary Road. And it shows an example where Leo DiCaprio is just this horrible, horrible husband for Kate Winslet. Mm -hmm. And imagine if you're Kate Winslet in that situation and you're like, look, as great as it would be, like, I'd love to support a guy. This guy is a freaking idiot. I chose the wrong guy. And now one life decision of getting married to this guy and I'm stuck here. Yeah. So I don't want to be in a position where I'm completely stuck. 
minutes in. So the it's time, yes. Like it's the original IRL. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. 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 Fifteen minutes in. I'm yeah. fucked up. <laughs> As a bartender, I know. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I, I could see it. Yeah. So, oh, you, you don't want to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>